So today we are making a minimalist cake because I'm sure like me you have seen them floating around everywhere and they just look hella cute to be honest and I mean any excuse to make a cake I'm here for. So we are going to try and make one. It's going to be frog themed. At least that's what I'm hoping. Um, and that literally stems from one video. Or one account and one little frog. It's so cute. I'll insert it here if I can find the clip. It's this little frog dancing and it literally gives me like the most happiness ever. So this little frog is getting a cake today just to say thank you for like making everyone's lives happier because look at it. We're also going to be following a tasty recipe for like the best chocolate cake ever or something. So we're going to see if it's actually that good. To be fair, I'm not following it exactly because I'm not doing the mayo or the stout. But it should still be yummy. Um, so let's get straight into it. We're going to try and follow this exactly. So we're going to start by just sifting the flour, cocoa powder, salt, baking soda and baking powder. Also, I am switching this recipe a little bit and using good old gluten-free flour so that mum can have some as well. So we've got one and a half cups of flour. Then literally all of this cocoa powder, which seems like an insane amount because this is 125 grams and we need 120, so like same thing. But we're trusting tasty. They know what they're doing, their cakes always good, so we'll see what happens. I was so close to putting an apron on and I was like, no, we'll be fine. <laughs> Hate cocoa powder. <sighs> okay, the top's just a bit wet now. We're just gonna we're just gonna pretend that's not there. Um and we had to get rid of five grams, so maybe that's like five grams anyway, I don't know. <laughs> okay, problem so apron to the freaking rescue will you carry me like i am whole again wait oh, no. so this next bit is where you're meant to have stout but i am doing sober january with my friends so we're not gonna do that instead i'm gonna substitute milk and just like pray that that works i think it will <laughs> We're putting together the stout with the vanilla extract and espresso powder, which is super random, but that's what Tasty said to do. 360. A tablespoon. Oh, well, wait, no. A tablespoon of vanilla extract seems like so much. A tablespoon. This is so much vanilla extract. Espresso powder and vanilla extract. Sorry to everyone eating this. Tasty made me do it. Usually you do a teaspoon. I'm genuinely so confused by that. Anyway, we're just gonna mix it and leave that to the side as well. And then we actually get into making the cake. <laughs> Stand mixer is out because it is butter and sugar time. Literally what makes a taste cake, okay. What makes a cake taste good. So we've got a cup of butter. Delicious noises. Plus one and a half cups of sugar. Light and fluffy. And it flowed it. Oh. Try that again. She is looking exceptionally light and fluffy. Like that color is like snow white vibes. So we're happy. 
We're now going to bake in the eggs one by one. Also, sorry I'm rushing through the cake bit, but I want to get to the decoration. Oh, that was one and a half. That's okay. Um, I really want to get to the decoration and the little frog because I have the best idea. So stick around and get really cute, hopefully. Okay, she's looking beautiful. And we're meant to use mayonnaise. As I mentioned at the start, I wasn't going to do that. But I've just realized we have Greek yogurt and I think it will work just as well to add that like creaminess. Plus, this is a tasty recipe, so I think it's going to be kind of insanely sweet anyway because Americans are like sweetness. So I think having maybe the tiny bit of like a tang from the Greek yogurt could actually work really well. So that's the plan. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. Bloop. The batter is looking great. So now we are going to start mixing in the wet and dry ingredients, AKA just the stuff that we put aside earlier. So we've got the beautiful cocoa flour mix and the now beautiful milky espresso vanilla mix, which actually looks really nice, just saying. So I'm gonna start with like a third or so. Too many things going on. We're going to start with like a third or so of the dry ingredients. Shimmy in. Okay. And mix. Then we're going to pour in like half of the wet. And then we're just going to repeat that. So we will go dry, wet, dry and just done. Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Oh. Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all Guys, this looks insanely delicious Like I am so happy right now oh my gosh this looks so yummy look at that you can't even tell what it looks like okay happy days because this cake just wasn't sweet enough we now get to add in dark chocolate so we obviously need to cut her up but it's meant to just give it some like dark chocolate chunks which sounds delicious to me because I feel like you don't usually get that in cakes, but that's just like one more layer. And you know what, Tasty? I think they have a hella good recipe because this is looking amazing. Amazing. I'm so happy. Okay. Yum. <laughs> this looks like the most delectable, rich, floofy, amazing cake. Which is literally all a girl wants for her little frog. I'm so excited to do the frog. Okay, so I think our whisk just broke. Great. Um, actually, I need to taste test this properly. Bro. Oh my god, that's genuinely like the best chocolate cake ever. I think the Greek yogurt just makes it so smooth and then the espresso just adds a little bit of like spice. <gasps> I'm so happy. <laughs> it's just so like, it's like a mousse. That's what it's like. It's like that creamy mousse texture plus some chocolate. And I'm planning on making it in these little cake tins. I thought about doing a big one, but I feel like all the minimalist cakes you see, they're super cute and tall and like small. Oh, happy days. I'm so glad this cake worked. It's not even cooked, but I know it's going to be good. I'm happy. High key recommend this cake. If you need a good chocolate cake, it will be linked below. Haven't even actually eaten it yet, but it will be linked below 100%. I'm gonna quickly butter the pans, chuck it in, toast it off, or cook it in other words, and I will see you after. Put 
me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Ladies and gentlemen, the time is young It's time to assemble It's time to make a frog I'm just so excited. Like my mood today is just the best thing ever. So we have three beautiful little cakes plus some little cupcakes because even though this is meant to be like minimalist, I kind of want to make little lily pad cupcakes if we have enough icing. We'll see how we go. I'm gonna start by dyeing this bad boy green. So I just made a bunch of cream cheese frosting off camera because like it takes too long. So we're gonna dye her green. Like a nice light green, I'm thinking. We'll just see what happens, honestly. Ah! I want this cake to be kind of like calming. So I feel like a nice kind of pale chill green gives it that like chill feeling high key. But so I put this in the fridge because this is cream cheese frosting and I need it to be thick enough to make a frog. I don't know if that's going to work, but it's my hopes and dreams. So we're not giving up now. <laughs> so that is our initial color. Just a beautiful pale green. And I've also got a little bowl of white, which I might chuck back in the fridge for now. So my vision for this is, we're gonna start obviously with a layer of cock. Beautiful. Then a bit of cream cheese. And really not heaps, because I think this cake's already quite sweet to be honest, just enough to like stick it all together. Smooth that out. because this cake is so sweet. I wanna do strawberries in between the layers because I know that's like not minimalist at all and like so extra, but like you can't see that from the outside. So I think it still counts as a minimalist cake. At least in my opinion, it does. And I think strawberries are great because they're sweet, but they also kind of cut through the sweetness because sometimes you get like tart strawberries. So that is the arm of the gum with this one. Beautiful. So this is the masterpiece so far. And then I'm gonna repeat that twice. So for the final layer, I'm gonna flip it upside down to get a really smooth Top because obviously the top, sorry, the bottom of the cake is flat from when you bake it versus the top has a little bit of a hollow lid. So that is the beautiful three layer cake and now we're going to cover the entire thing in frosting so it is completely green and gorgeous plus it means the strawberries are like a total surprise which I think is kind of fun. <laughs> because this looks way easier. Well, not way easier. I just think this will actually work. So we're gonna mush up a cupcake and add in some icing and make that into a ball and use that as the frog's body. Because honestly, I didn't really know how I was gonna make this frog a frog. So I think that'll work. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good about that. Ooh. Icing is everywhere. I've never had a cake pop, I don't think. I know they're super big in like America and that. I don't feel like they're that big in Australia. But that's like the vibe we're going for. But it doesn't need to be that good. It just needs to be like sticky enough that I can mold it into a blob pretty much and it'll stay. Well, so this isn't like an amazing frog. This is just like a cute little frog to sit on top vibe. So that looks pretty good. So we're gonna make, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Clean hands. We're gonna make a little ball and then a smaller ball on top of that. So it's gonna be like the frog body and the frog head. That's the vibe, so. <laughs> this is so weird. I mean, I literally just wanna block. Like that's kind of the aim. And I want it to be really cute. So I feel like that's the little frog 
body. She's just like a blob, literally, straight up. I wasn't lying. Cute. And then like a really small little head. Okay, yeah, that's what we're working with. <laughs> this is so weird. Um, I can see this working though. And then two little eyes and a little mouth. That'll be cute. So while my froggy friend is resting in the fridge, we are going to finish icing. So I ended up just doing a bit of a crumb coat because there was so many crumbs. I was like, this is stupid. So now we're going to actually finish icing it just in a thin layer. I also think my cake's a little bit slanted. Um, I kind of realized that while I was in the fridge, but like I also don't know what to do about it and I don't care enough. So we're not gonna do anything. <laughs> I honestly don't mind though if it's slightly rustic because it's a frog and like a frog lives in nature so that is rustic anyway so I kind of feel like it just goes with the vibe honestly a little vibe and I do need enough green for my poor foggy okay she is covered and quite rustic but we're going with it hi Kate I'm gonna chuck her back in the fridge and we will smooth it over and get rid of all the bottom stuff after. Guys! It is time to make the little dream in my head come true and I'm so excited. While the camera was off, we have put some white and yellow icing into little baggies because I'm gonna make some like flowers. And also we have to give the frog eyes, obviously. Duh. So, that is what that's for. Now, I know this cake isn't perfectly smooth and whatever, but as we said, we're doing the rustic vibe. So like, just, just go with it, okay? Thank you. And now it's time. I'm so excited. A little froggy has <laughs> been sitting in the fridge. And part of my dream is a frog is sitting on like a little log vibe. So I went and bought Kit Kat this morning. I really don't know if this is minimalist anymore. I just don't care. So these are massive. So we're gonna chop them in half to start off with. Ah, I just really hope it works. Okay. So now we have our little log for the frog to sit on. So we need to work out what the front of the cake is. I think that... Bro, this cake is like such a mess and a half. I'm just gonna say that's like the best side. She'll do. She shall do. I might actually smooth her out real quick. This is the front. Sorry, you guys seeing the back. So, I want my little frog to sit there, apparently. I'm so like jittery right now. So then we put a little bit of icing on our log because Obviously, our frog deserves the absolute best, and this is not tall enough. Duh. So, beautiful. Now that's a log for our frog. So here's something to sit on. <laughs> so the frog's butt is just kind of resting there. Cute, cute. Oh, wait, no, that's gonna fall, isn't it? So now we need to cover Mr. Frog <laughs> in green, but I'm gonna dye it. So it's a little bit darker, so it stands out from like the um cake. Whew, my brain is scattered. I've just realized how bad it looks from your angle, but like, I'm sorry, just deal for a minute. And we're gonna pipe on Robert's greenness. So let's do that. I don't know how this is gonna go, so we'll see. <laughs> Okay, Robert's officially green, but he's also melting, which is like a slight problem. So, <laughs> don't really know what to do about that, to be honest. Come on, Robert, pull it together, man. I really don't know how long Robert's gonna survive, so we're just gonna work fast. <laughs> we're gonna give Robert some cute little eyes. And I might even do a little dot of green in the eye as like his pupil. Okay, that's high key cute. It doesn't look like a frog, but it's cute. <laughs> he now has little green eyes. Okay, Robert has chilled out a bit. He's doing a bit better. So, 
we're going to draw on some little arms and legs and just like see how that goes hiking <laughs> now you can actually see what in the world i'm doing so i should have put this in the fridge but that's okay maybe hopefully So that's one little arm. I don't know if you can really tell, but that's meant to be an arm. There's another little arm. I think I need to do a different color, don't I? This just looks like a melting like shrew. Oh, golly gosh. This is a hot mess, like Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at it all. Ay, ay, ay. But we're not giving up. He still has a lot of hope. Like, he's kind of cute, honestly, though. If it'll focus on poor Robert. He's, like, melting, but he's, like, adorable. So, we're not giving up. Um, I think his arms and legs just need to be done again. So, I've made some darker frosting. So, hopefully, it'll show up a bit more this time. It's time to finish Roberto. Here's the thing. If you just saw it, no. You probably wouldn't know it's a frog. But if I told you it's a frog, I think you could see it. So I'm gonna give him a little smile because I think that'll help the game a lot, to be honest. Oh, he looks so much cuter now. Ah, look at him. Look at Roberto. He's smiling at you. I actually think that's high key adorable. <laughs> Now's the fun bit. Roberto is done. And we're gonna do some flowers. And of course I've chosen yellow. As I said, I don't know if this cake is still minimalist technically, but I think it's cute. So like, whatever. I also don't know how much like flowers this is gonna look, but like we're trying. <laughs> I'm realizing it kind of looks like eggs rather than flowers, but like it's too late now, so we're sticking with it. I think that's gonna do. So now we're just going to write alive. I think that's what I've gone with. Um, as just like a reminder to like live life because we are alive and happy. So I'm going to write alive and we're done. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you the cake and you have to promise not to judge because you've been here through the whole thing. You've seen me try. So you're on my team, please. <laughs> please meet. I don't know why I'm doing this since you've already seen it. Mr. Roberto. This is him in his little flower slash egg garden. <laughs> oh, this is such a mess, but I kind of love it. And yes, it says alive because this is a reminder that you are alive. So go live your life. Stop worrying about other people and enjoy it. Make a crappy frog cake because you know what? It's a lot of fun. So yeah. Oh, oh golly gosh. This is fam. Hi. Hi. And we're drying the cake because that's all that matters. And poor Roboto is melting. Can I get the A? <laughs> sure. Go. Wait, because, what? You're making it like that. Because your glasses are con, yeah, no. con I something. I don't know do it. Convex, concave. I don't... Whoa, that's what you were saying. I had no idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. I think it's cool. <laughs> and there's strawberries in it, by the way. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait. There. I just think that's cool. Wow, Cheers. that's so cool. I'm getting a spoon though. Okay, so this is the tasty chocolate cake. And it's so moist and I think it's going to be nice because the batter tasted really nice. Oh, from BuzzFeed? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. What do you rate it? I don't... Yeah. She's not going to say it under <laughs> You can! Be honest, bro. Bye, guys. It's really good. <laughs> okay, guys. I can't stop laughing at this cake. Like, I tried so hard, and that's our end result. I just think this is so funny. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed making Roberto with me. I don't know if this is a fail or a great success, but I am having fun and loving life. We are alive, and this is your reminder to live. So... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you did. And I will see you next Sunday. And remember to find your reason to smile. This is definitely mine today. 
or be the reason someone else smiles. So hopefully this made you smile. I love you all so much and I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>